Well, we can go live now to our correspondent in Rio de Janeiro, Jan Onosko. Jan, uh, Bolsonaro has yet to react to this. Absolutely, Angela. It's now been more than 14 hours since the victory for Lula was declared officially last night, just a few minutes before 8 p.m. local time, and still no word from him. It's very unusual indeed. Normally the losing candidate win brings the winner to congratulate them. They normally make a speech acknowledging their defeat. None of that so far. In fact, even his allies couldn't get through to him last night. They were told shortly before 11 p.m. last night that he had gone to bed. So possibly he's having a lie-in this morning. On a more serious note, though, it makes people wonder whether he is going to contest the result of this election. Just after the final debate on Friday night, he said that he would accept the outcome, whatever happened. However, that came after months of him questioning and alleging that there was fraud in Brazil's electronic voting system, leading everyone to think that he was preparing for a Trump-style insurrection. Uh, so we're going to have to wait to see what he will say. However, it's going to be very difficult in some ways for him to contest this. The leaders of the two houses, Congress and Senate, have already acknowledged Lula's victory, as have some of his political allies, such as the newly elected governor of Sao Paulo, Tarcísio de Freitas. And what about the supporters of Lula da Silva and indeed the supporters of Bolsonaro? What has been the reaction on the streets and uh, in the press? Well, this morning, two extremes of emotion, really, for Bolsonaro's supporters. Disbelief that he wasn't able to win this election. They were convinced that he would. As for Lula's supporters, perhaps not so much jubilation, but relief that their candidate managed to make it over the line. Lula himself has said that this was the most difficult campaign of his very long political career. And uh, in his speeches, he has struck a very conciliatory tone. He said that it's now time to lay down the weapons. Nobody wants to live in a country that's at war. And he also said that uh, he is not the leader of two Brazils. There's no such thing as two Brazils, that it was one nation. And he also said that this wasn't a victory for the Workers' Party. It was a victory for all those people in the Grand Coalition who wanted change. And we need to remember that his vice president is Geraldo Alckmin, who for a long time was his political rival from the centre-right and Simone Tebet, one of his presidential rivals who joined his team, was also stood by him last night when he gave that speech. So a sense that there's going to be a grand coalition governing Rio, uh, rather Brazil, over the next four years. Well, thanks very much. We'll leave it there, uh, Jan. Jan Onosco there talking to us from Rio de Janeiro.